Today on Keeping It Local, I really love this because this is a business that epitomizes keeping it local. Banana Inc. has found that the state of Idaho, all it is and all it means to those of us who live here, and even the shape, provide enough inspiration to fuel an enterprise that is growing as fast as the state itself. I bet you've seen this, maybe on a hat or the back of a truck, who knows, they're everywhere. So I want you to meet the designer of this design and so many more. She's Lana Roth of Banana Inc. This is her store right in the heart of downtown Boise. Lana, thanks for letting us pop in today. Absolutely. And learn more about all your Idaho designs. Yeah. Crazy, where did you get started with this? Uh, well, it all started about seven years ago. I was fresh out of design school at BSU and uh, just wanted to create something for people who lived in Idaho and loved Idaho. A lot of people are coming to Idaho and they loving are. Idaho. Yes, I bet that's good are. for business. Absolutely. We get to meet them every day. They come in the shop and we get to share our Idaho stories and get to hear what they love about the place too. And they want to represent. You said they, they really like being able to wear some of this Idaho gear. Show me some of your favorite items. Well, my favorite design is the Idaho Mountain design because it's a, probably our most subtle. So you can kind of see as I turn it that both the mountain peaks are made of Idaho's as well as every design that Banana Ink makes has an Idaho somewhere in it, whether it's subtle or more obvious. You should do one of those little books where you, you know, can you find the Idaho? Because really, I had seen this before and I hadn't seen that that was Idaho in the mountain peak. That is really clever. Thank you. We've had a customer wear that hat for a year and come in and realize that it actually had an Idaho <laughs> on it after he'd been wearing it for so long. So. Oh, that's crazy. Look at this one. This, I like this one. The fish, the scales, the fin. Everything. All Idaho. All Idaho. All, all Idaho all the time. Do you think you'll run out of ideas? Well, I haven't quite yet, but you know, you never know. Uh, I think our state shape is pretty unique, so it's definitely been a great source of creativity in all the work that I do. So, You know, when you have people, new people especially, coming in and wanting to wear your, your gear, what are they saying about representing Idaho with apparel? Yeah, I think that they just want to feel a part of the community. I think that that's really... The, the coolest thing that we get to do is kind of share that love of our state with other people, whether they've been here their whole lives or whether they're just getting here. And I think that's something a lot of people can cling to, so. What does it feel like when you walk down the street or when you look at the photographer who is shooting this story right now <laughs> and you see, <laughs> you see your designs everywhere? It doesn't get old, I'll tell you that. So I have loved seeing it. Even our most popular designs, you know, it just doesn't get old getting to see somebody you know, be interested in it because I think art is a very connecting thing, you know, so love it. Well, hey, thanks for keeping it local. I mean, really keeping it local. Absolutely. With Idaho. Thanks, yeah. Lana. Yeah, thank you. I'm a fan. I was so impressed. Who would think the shape of Idaho could be so many different things? And I've, I've got to tell you, Tammy, if you would like to hear the story behind the one that, that we've all seen in so many places, that shape of Idaho like a gun and the, the, tree, the tree is the bullet. Out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, on my Facebook page right now, we did a Facebook Live yesterday where she explains kind of the meaning behind that. And, and I have to tell you, I'm not going to give it away here now because <laughs> it's sort of a long story, but it's not what you probably think. And it's really kind of neat. So, um, so that was one of the stories that she told me because almost all of her designs have some kind of a, a story here and there. I'm going to have to go in there. Yeah. That really yeah. looks like a fun store. She said it's been fun because so, uh, she's meeting so many of the new people that are coming to Idaho. And right. one thing she's really been impressed by and she thought everybody would really be reassured by is that so many of our newcomers, that's one of the first things they want to do is they want to become a part of Idaho and kind of show it off because they're they're proud of their new state. And I thought that was a good, good sign too. Yeah. yeah. She's planning on opening a second store up north. Of course, a lot going on up north too, like in the yeah. Coeur d'Alene area. So if you're up that way, look for her and, uh, and pop in. It's there at 9th and Bannock. Okay, All right. perfect.